Man, just look at that ruby red paint, guys. That thing looks freaking beautiful. But anyways, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Good morning, good afternoon, depending on where you are. Right now it is pretty early, it's about 8 a.m. Where I am from, so I am up early. Wanted to get this video out before going to work because I actually have no time today. I'm off super late, so I was like, hey, why not crank out this video that I've actually been wanting to do? And it's the most common questions I get asked since I got this car and since the beginning of the channel, and I was like, why haven't I made a video about it? So, uh, don't want to make it too, too long. Want to get straight to the point and let you guys know what's up. Uh, if you guys are new, make sure to drop a fat like, comment, subscribe. Join the fam, do what you guys got to do if you're into any car content, car vlogs, car Mexico races, car installs, anything related to that. Make sure to join the fam, hit that subscribe button. Basically, let's get started with this video. Is the MT82 in the 2015 to like 2020, is it really a bad transmission or is it a good transmission? Let's get started with this video. All right, moving on to the most big important question and is is the mt82 a good transmission guys like i said i've been having this question since i got this car since the beginning of this channel and recently still i see comments like every time is this mt82 worth it is the six speed worth it over the 10 speed and i'm calm i'm basically just going to answer the question and say is the mt82 a good transmission guys i personally if I'm saying it, I and seeing other videos and other YouTubers and exactly how they feel too, I personally don't think this is the best transmission. I don't think the MT82 is a very good transmission just because of how it's made and just because of how notchy it might be. Honestly, if I'm being honest, this transmission is not the best, best transmission. And by any means, am I trying to say like, don't go for a six speed, don't go for that. Because like I said, guys, I've done plenty of videos in the past when I talk about like the whole reason why I went with a six speed. And guys, it's literally like a 50-50. You either get like the bunch that has very good stuff and literally nothing happens. I have a, I have a couple of friends that have six speeds and literally nothing has happened to them. Why? It's because they got lucky. You know, it's that 50-50 it's that bunch that gets it. But then you also have this other half on the internet that a lot of people go on YouTube and talk about. And it's basically, you know, having that messed up transmission. So, um, guys, by any means, am I trying to like trash on it and trying to say like it's don't get it, don't get it. I'm just trying to basically explain to you guys from my point of view, me having it for about a year now. And if you guys are actually new, or if you guys remember, I actually had my shift fork go out. So my third and fourth gear was literally completely gone on my car. And literally it was one of the like worst things that's ever happened to my car. Because you know, I literally just bought the car. I probably have what, 9,000 miles on it right now. And they literally went out in such an early stage of its life. I literally went out at like, 6,000 miles so 6,000 miles already something breaking down on the car it's literally like yo like I just bought this car so guys long long sh like answer is MT82 a good transmission I don't think it's at its at its best like form if I'm being honest I truly believe that there is another bunch of other transmissions that are so much better and this one honestly and a lot of people have said it and it's just not a super good transmission why i've been looking at forums and looking at stuff and videos and i guess it's because of like the transmission was actually like built in china or something like that it just doesn't require the really good parts that like a transmission would need which is in my opinion one of the dumbest things ever because this is a mustang this is like a performance car you know this is meant for like you know a muscle car whatever a sports car you take it to the track you take it to whatever and you're going to be pushing it hard so the thing is having you know having that in the back of your mind like man this transmission maybe can give out whenever just by you pushing the car when it's really meant to do that and that's just because of the way that transmission's built you know um i actually saw that i think ford might be in a lawsuit right now maybe because of this transmission not being so good and everybody complaining about it and i mean guys i don't know it's just i don't know what ford was thinking honestly at that moment um i know like pretty sure i think it's um Chevy, they make pretty good transmission in their manuals. I haven't seen anybody really on YouTube be posting a lot of stuff about it. So that just goes to prove Chevy and even Dodge, they have pretty good transmission. So I don't get why Ford literally did not hop on the same boat and was like, hey, let's make some good transmission. We're pushing these cars hard. Like, why not have a good transmission for them? So, um, yeah, I don't know why, guys. I've also seen a lot of videos, guys. I've seen a lot of videos and a lot of people just talking and about their cars and seeing how they could probably fix this problem and i personally don't feel like 
you could probably fix this problem unless you get your whole like a whole new build transmission and I've actually seen that work I actually seen a few youtubers that actually did you know get their own build transmission and they say it's perfectly final and it feels so much better and they're pushing it hard every day and I think that's super dope but it is super expensive at the end of the day that a lot of us might not be able to afford but then I also actually seen that a lot of people in comments and in videos have commented that you know just by getting an upgraded clutch just by getting an upgraded clutch by getting a a short throw shifter and literally those two things that it resolves the problem of maybe like lockout and you know just not being able to go in gear or grinding um personally i don't know if that's actually true i don't know if that's going to completely get rid of the problem i just personally feel like if it's a whole transmission thing it's the whole transmission thing you know i think the best option there right there would probably just be get a build transmission but then if you obviously have warranty, then you're just voiding everything. Like, there's no point of that. There's no point of you paying that extra fee of warranty. So, um, I mean, yeah, guys, I I'm, I'm, haven't tested it out myself, so I can't speak for others and say that it's not true. But I've seen a lot of videos and people, a lot of the times they say, hey, uh, an, a shifter, a short throw shifter does it, or an upgraded clutch will get rid of this problem. And honestly, guys, I don't know if that's true. But if you guys, you know, have done that, Make sure to leave a comment and let me know what you guys think if it really makes a difference but i don't know guys like i love this car but i just hate the fact that you know i hate the fact that this car already like the third and fourth gear basically went out in a super early age of life and you know it's just like i want to make this video too to like answer this question because i do get asked this question a lot on the channel so finally addressing it and hopefully i can maybe help you guys out a little bit I'm not trying to say do not go for a six speed because I personally love the six speed and it is just too much fun in a six speed honestly to drive so I'm not trying to say that by any means I'm not trying to say like a bunch of bad bad stuff even though it might sound like in this video but guys I'm literally just kind of trying to explain like my point of view me I am like a 2018 Mustang GT owner so I've had this car for about you know a year now put a few couple thousand miles on it so I could honestly tell you guys how I feel about the transmission but actually let me let me show you guys exactly what I mean by like lockout and just stuff like that in general that a lot of people have in these cars so basically you guys can see this is the cockpit right here so basically you know when you're like shifting whatever for a second third fourth fifth six so let's say like you're really like driving the car and this has happened to me so many times and it still happens to me up to this day and even though my car is like fixed i turn i went to go take it in for it to be fixed whatever the new shift forks for third and fourth and i still have honestly some lockout sometimes throughout like just driving the car and just revving it up really high and I don't know why, so basically I'll be like in second, I rev it out high, and let's say like I wanna do it to third, whatever, and then it would just like completely lock me out either in third or fourth, and I really don't know why, because you know, like they put a new piece in, whatever, and I'm just over here thinking like, hey, like my car's gonna be good, but I guess it still happens, and I guess this still happens to a lot of people. So, I don't know why, I, I, I don't know, I messaged the guy that actually was able to uh, work on my car, and he just told me that these MT82s, are really just not meant to be pushed like at a such high I guess a such high level or just be revved out for too too long but I'm like man like that's where the whole fun comes out you know like that's where you have fun you know you rev out the car you know you're pushing it hard and then having that thing about lockout is just it's just not the funniest thing ever guys you know I wish I wish I didn't really do that but I think that's probably the most common thing that people have talked about in their videos and literally it might not be that their whole transmission out is out but they always talk about just being locked out a third being locked out a second and that's exactly i feel you guys that happens to me sometimes and still sometimes up to this day so don't really know well don't really know what's going on for but yeah guys there you guys go i had a few little key points right there that i just wanted to point out and talk about this video and basically you know if you want to see some comments on other people's videos and some people are like i'm not going to be spending 30 40k plus on, on a car for it to not even be able to handle whatever some type of speeds not being able to engage right this and that guys I totally get it you know that's a personal opinion if you guys believe that it's not worth it if you guys think that all cars like these are bad and like I said 
there is just so many people out there that literally don't have no problems with their cars literally not like one problem with this mt82 and you know it's just kind of like it's up to you you know do you really want to do you really want the six speed if you clearly don't if you don't want to go with these at all go with the 10 speed i guess but i've i've heard a lot of stories about 10 speeds too that they're just you know it's just every car guys like i said every car has problems regardless of what it might be what manufacturer it's gonna have problems you know just hope that you know it does anyways guys yes that was a little short video hopefully it's not too too long i want to just talk about like the six speed and is it really a bad transmission basically what i said at the beginning of the video um i feel like it, it's just not the best transmission honestly if i'm being honest it's not the best transmission i feel like they could they could do so much to like made it so much better and i guess just because of the parts and because it's not a tremic and because of they got a lot of pieces from china so you know i don't know why ford decided to go that route um it's kind of just like why you know why but i don't think it's a bad transmission because i have so much fun with it and just it just revving out super high i think that's super good but it just needs those other you know key points in the transmission if they had actually good parts and you know not just went like a way cheaper route then i personally think this could have bought, probably would have been one of the best like transmissions out there like i said this is the end of the video didn't want to make it too too long hopefully it's not too too crazy um i'll keep you guys updated whatever happens with mine but i mean so far it's holding up real nice as i'm having fun with it but you know sometimes they do have some little lockout problems which i don't enjoy really but i just wanted to make this video guys out to let you guys know what i feel about the mt82 is it worth it is it not how do i feel about it what problems have happened and uh yeah i think we've covered a little bit of pieces from there so if you guys are new make sure to drop a fat like comment subscribe join the fan and um i'll see you on the next time peace